Hello and welcome to another Father Son Podcast. If Forrest is not done busting up the mic, I apologize. He's uh, kind of destructive today. How you doing, man? Good, how are you? Good, Merry Christmas, man. Mm, Merry Christmas. How was your holidays? Good, how are yours? Pretty good. Uh, this is the first one that we had without mom around. What'd you think? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the same as always, huh? Pretty much. Yeah, like your your uh, routine was pretty much the same. Uh, we got all the gifts wrapped. We got the gifts out. Mom did a whole bunch before she left, so yeah. we were uh, pretty far ahead when we started. I finished up the last. I wrapped the gifts for Lala. She, she liked my wrap jobs. <laughs> I wrapped some of the gifts for you that I got for you. I got, I did some extra shopping for you, too. And uh, you can obviously tell which ones are right for you because they look so <laughs> awesome. Um, how's how's everything for your holiday? Good. Good? You enjoy Christmas Eve? Yeah. Yeah, we went over to... Um, you should look up how to do Christmas wrapping. <laughs> Dude, I do Christmas wrapping in the caveman way. Okay. Tape and paper makes it happen. So when I finished Christmas shopping, we did... um. Uh, we went over to uh, my cousin Arlene's house for Christmas Eve, and we opened presents from the family, and then we went to my mom's house, and we opened more presents there, and we hung out. It was me, you, and Destiny, and, you know, my mom's yeah. side of the family. Um, you forgot to remind me to get the bananas out of the trunk, by the way. After this podcast, remind me to get the bananas out of the trunk. Sounds good. All right. And did you pick that money up off the floor? What money? It's a red envelope. I don't know. Okay, I threw the red envelope on the floor, and that's what made me think about the uh, um, the bananas. Lala, uh, then we today we went we opened Christmas presents this morning. Actually, I made you steak and eggs before that. How was that? Good. Good. I, I grilled up uh, four steaks, chopped them up, made some scrambled eggs, put it all together. It was delicious. It was really good. Yeah. Then um, Forrest opened up his presents, and uh, we had Mom on line and. We opened hers up so she could see what she got. She got some good stuff, too. Um, then we went and you played your Switch for a little bit because you got a Switch. Then we went to Lala's and we opened some more presents. And she opened her presents from us. And uh, we did up a red envelope for her, which is the way that Chinese exchange money on the holidays. So we made her a red envelope on our own with a red marker. And uh, we put some cash in her, and Mom made sure that we used a card, so we put uh, money in a card, and then we colored it envelope red, and then we gave it to Lala, and along with the rest of her presents, so we did that. Then uh, we came home. Uh, you played the Switch for a little bit. I played the Switch for a little bit with you, too. Um, did all the dishes, and I cleaned up, and you cleaned up the, your presents, and you took out all the stuff and threw out the garbage, and... Tag team the house a little bit, and then we went to Grand Mary's for dinner, and we ate some dinner, and we played some games, and I beat you in Skippo, and I also beat you twice in um, Yahtzee. Yahtzee, and that was it. Stop chewing your nails while we're talking, man. I can hear you chewing your nails. That's very unattractive. Uh, so how was your holiday? Good. Okay. <laughs> what was your favorite present that you got? The Switch, obviously. Switch, obviously. Better than, uh, is that better than getting Smash Brothers? Well, if I got Smash Brothers and I didn't get the Switch, how am I going to play Smash Brothers? You almost got the Switch with nothing, though. You could have just had the Switch. I would have been making Miis all day. Yeah, that kind of was stunk because the online wasn't working earlier. So, yeah. N- not on Nintendo online, just online in general. Mm-hmm. So, Force needs to remake his Nintendo account so we can activate it. Yeah. Um, so that was your favorite gift. What was the favorite gift that you gave this year? My favorite gift that I gave? Uh-huh. I don't know. I don't really give a whole lot of gifts. <laughs> okay. Uh, the favorite gift that I got? Um, I don't know. I think the favorite gift I got this year is that picture of me. <laughs> the picture of me that Coach Matt gave me. <laughs> I think it's pretty sweet. I like that picture. Um, I'm going to put it in here, in the office in here, and uh, I like it. I really like that picture. It's, cool. it's one of my favorite pictures of me. It was the day I got my black belt, so it's a super special day to me. And I think my second favorite gift, um, I'm not sure. Probably the money that I gave to Lala was my second favorite gift. 
because <laughs> I got money, but then I uh, put an envelope for Lala. And my third favorite gift is the shirt that I'm wearing right now that you got me. I like that. I got you. In air quotes. Uh, I like that shirt. It says, uh, I flex, but I like this shirt. And uh, I definitely should have got a, a small in it, though, because the mediums, like, it fits like a good shirt fits. But I'm too small to have a good shirt fit. I need a little tiny. Like, so it's going to rip when I flex. Uh, and the favorite gift I gave? Uh, I don't know what the favorite gift I gave. Maybe the money to Lala because she looks so happy. It was the happiest uh, gift I saw. Uh, I I enjoyed getting mom's gifts because they're fun to get. And um, I don't know. I just enjoy shopping. I enjoy buying gifts. Oh, I know my favorite gift I picked out huh the giant unicorn oh the giant unicorn for mom yeah 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 that was a very good choice and you carried it through the whole store like red dead redemption style i went from two arms to two legs Mm -hmm. around my like neck on on my shoulders around my neck yeah and then i I did like the head on once on one shoulder and the legs on one shoulder Uh it looked cool yeah so what does christmas mean to you um i don't know you know, you didn't take any time to reflect on the holiday, even though you've been doing it for two straight days and you've just been enjoying the gifts. Yeah, I don't know. I think sometimes you need to um, detach yourself from screens a little bit and think about what the holidays mean. Mm-hmm. You know, like to me, um, there's a holiday about giving and I, I really enjoy going around and giving stuff. And uh, it's about family, too. You know, and I enjoyed seeing my family. I enjoyed seeing you. I enjoyed seeing Destiny. I had a good time. I'm glad you guys got to hang out in the car on the ride, uh, ride back to uh, Grand, Mary's. Grand Mary's. Yeah, so I'm sure you guys had a cool time in there, and just watching you guys together, seeing that you're finally taller than Destiny, watching you guys interact, hearing about her life. Because I don't see you guys, that, you know, I don't see Destiny that much, and I don't see Grand Mary that much. So it was good. And then um, we were able to call, and Mom could see her gifts and see you open the gifts, which is important. So um, that was cool. So mom was included, and she wasn't totally alone on Christmas. And I don't know. Like, it was just fun. And sometimes you need to really th- sit down and think about what's going on. What, you know, did a lot of work for you, you know, and you should yeah. appreciate it. And you should make sure that you're absorbing uh, what Christmas is and what we try and make for our kids. So you can do the same thing for your family. Mm-hmm. And that's part of uh, the age that you're at now. You should realize a lot of kids your age don't realize this. And, you know, the parents don't really sit down and talk with them. They just, you know, no one really takes time to talk to our kids anymore because, you know, at life's so busy. To be honest with you, all I wanted to do today was just crawl into my bed and put on a movie and, and take a nap, man. I'm exhausted. But I figured this would be a good podcast to come in and sit down and, and talk to you about exactly this. And uh, I was trying to lead into it, but it wasn't so good because you've been kind of quiet today. And now you got the earphones off and you're real fidgety because you're, you're overtired and you're oversaturated with excitement and, and getting gifts and you're a little crazy. But that's okay, you know, that's what Christmas is about. It's about being pushed and enjoying life, you know. Like, but it's not about sitting around playing video games all day, for sure. Okay? And um, this week, I'm going to... You're off this week, so I'm going to put it to you and leave you a lot of responsibilities this week. And we're going to see how you do with that, right? Because you're freaking 12 years old, dude. You're grown up, you know? It's time for you to really start being the man that you can be. And uh, we don't grow if we're not challenged, and I'm going to challenge you, okay? Sound fair? I need a... He's nodding his head, but that doesn't count in the podcast. Does it sound fair? Yeah. Or do you think it's not fair? Be honest. Do you think it's fair that I'm pushing you? I guess. No, don't say you guess. If you're if you don't think it's fair, tell me. Well, if it's not fair, when are you gonna like? When push when me? is it gonna be? Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna like push you hard where like you're scraping the floor with your knuckles, <laughs> but I'm gonna give you work and I'm gonna expect it done. Not like anything crazy. I'm still gonna give you plenty of time to hang out and have fun, but I'm gonna put it so you need to keep yourself orientated on what you need to do Mm -hmm. because you've been getting away from it a little bit this vacation not vacation but this um this trip but i realized with school and how crazy it is and like dropping off in the gym and go run and do something is not really a lot of time right so now 
you can set up your day however you want. I'm not going to talk to you at all. If we don't do too good tomorrow, we're going to sit down and I'll, plan out, I'll sit down with you and we'll plan out your day together. But I think that you're smarter than me. I really honestly do, right? I, I totally think you're smarter than me. Maybe not, you don't have as much knowledge as me, but I think you're smarter than me and I think you understand things quicker and you grasp things better than I do. And that's the God's honest truth. So I'm going to let you come up with your plan to figure out your day and how to get done whatever you need to get done, right? So I'm going to write down a chore list when I, when I get done over here, and I'll leave it for you. And if you have any questions, you can talk to me before I leave, right? And then um, I expect you to get done what's on that list, and then you can do whatever you want the rest of the day, right? Well, mm -hmm. not anything you want. You can't have parties, can't have alcohol, can't have girls over, uh, can't break anything. And you can't really leave the house unless you like let me know and you're going with someone responsible. And that's about it, really. <laughs> but you can watch TV, play video games, drink pop, eat whatever food you want. You know, do anything you need to do. Cook, clean, <sighs> smash. You know, I don't care what you do. Well, I do care what you do, but as long as you're doing good things, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't know. That's really all I got to talk about. You got anything else? Nope. Nope. Tripper loved his stuff. We got Tripper stuff. <laughs> I got him uh, bones. Don't leave your socks in here. Yeah, I, know. I, I got him I bones. I got him uh, chewies. I got him a bunch of stuff. I got him a uh, unicorn stuffed animal because mom's like unicorns. And uh, he took his bone upstairs and he put it underneath my bed. And he picked up all my clothes from all over. Like he took them out of the bathroom and he took them off of the, the floor in my room where I put them when they're dirty. And... Uh, Buried his bone in my clothes. So <laughs> I picked up all of my clothes now and threw them downstairs in the laundry. And uh, his bone's just sticking out, so he's probably a little upset. He hasn't farted once in here, though. You know, the other thing is he's been doing really good. He hasn't had an accident. He's had one accident in the house all the time. Mom's been gone. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. He's doing really good. Mm hmm He must, uh, must like boy time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, I let him out at 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> the other day though what was it um i'm not sure what was it when was it it was uh i wonder if the neighbor's like that friday or saturday or something dude he like jumped up on the bed he's like rrr, rrr. he woke me up and he had to go outside but <laughs> like he jumped on the bed to wake me up to make sure i took him out so mm -hmm. good for him man yeah good job tripper tripper's doing good this trip too except he's getting really old dude he's not moving very much at all nope he's been sitting in that chair not moving Mm -hmm. Today with the Chewy, though, he was like a little kid, so that was good. Uh, chewy, work. Uh, I got work tomorrow, so obviously Ooh. if I'm leaving a list of chores, yeah, I worked yesterday. Busy at work, man. Uh, Mr. Andrew stopped by, made us an ornament. That's cool. We're going to hang out soon. Uh, I'm going to post the, um, the podcast that I did with... Um, Whatever her name, uh, Ashley, Ashley Kroll. That should be up in a day or two. Um, you should listen to some of ours and listen to how you sound on it too. So by the end of this, we can have a really good podcast. Maybe we can continue to do this once a week, even when Mom's in town. Maybe it'll yeah. be tough though. It won't be tough. We got a whole weekend, so we can find some time during the weekend yeah. to review the week. Yeah, you can do your breakdown of the NFL regular season this weekend too. We can do a couple of back to back if you want. Anything else, man? Nope. Yeah, I don't got nothing else either. I'm tired. It's 9.20. I'm going to write up that list for you right now. And then you can go play your games or whatever. Relax for the rest of the night. Um, not too late because I'm going to wake you up in the morning when I leave. Okay? okay. That's the other thing. I'm going to wake you up so we kind of stay on the same schedule for school and work and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll wake you up right, right as I'm walking out the door so you don't have to get up too early. And uh, then you can take a nap or whatever you need to do too. Okay? Sound good? Sounds good. All right, and you can set your own bedtime. But what, if I over, what if I oversleep my nap timer? Then you oversleep your nap timer and don't get done what you need to get done. Well, it's part of the setting responsibilities, right? So what this is also going to do is it's going to make sure that you're getting enough sleep. Because if you're oversleeping your timer, you're way too tired. You've been way too tired this trip anyways, but we've been so busy. But now you're on vacation, there's no reason to be busy. So if you're tired, you can put down the video games or the screen time for a little bit and take a nap, right? Because you're still going to have to get the work done. Or you can get all the work done early and then you play video games and when you get super tired, just sleep on the chair. With the video game going, man, you know? 
It is what it is, yeah. right? Because mm -hmm. real life's coming for you quick. Yeah. You're 12, you're almost 13. Nine months to 13. Less than nine months, really. More than nine months, really. Less than nine months. It's More. almost January. More than nine months, exactly. My birthday's September 15th. Right. So on, so on January 1st, which is... It'd be eight months on January... Monday. It'd eight be months and 14 days. Be nine months and 14 days. No, because it'll be one. It's 12 now. Right now, it's nine months. It's one, less than nine two, months. One, two, three, four... F January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Nine. Oh, yeah, maybe you're right. Nine months and 14 days. Yeah. Because you have to count January. Yeah, I guess. But it will be January. So Shut up with your Asian math. I don't want to be your smart people math. You're nine months away from being 13. And that's man enough for me. <laughs> Teenager. That's when you're going to get rebellious. So we got to get your get it in early. But seriously, it's time to start developing habits to become a man. You know, I've been listening to a lot of podcasts and um, men are having a hard time finding themselves in life these days because the world's a tough place. It's a very tough place, and you're a you're a dudely dude, like you're a manly man, and um, I want you to be able to function in the world, and um, I want you to not only be able to function, I want you to be excelling in the world and in life, and I want you out of my goddamn house when you're 18, <laughs> unless you're going to like PhD grad school, but I expect you to go to like a really fancy school and be on campus anyways, to be honest with you. I don't know if I can get into a fancy school, though. Why? Because there's, like... Competition? Competition. No, I never hear you. fancy schools, like, come to my school for... Yeah. You yeah. gotta apply them. Yeah, get scholarships. You gotta chase it if you want it. Oh. Can't just be, like, wait for someone to come to you. Listen, oh. there's millions and millions of really smart people. People smarter than you or me. <laughs> people that get into those schools are the ones that have the drive. The drive to go do what they need to get done. Right? And that's... Basically, that's what I'm trying to instill in you right now is a drive to get things done, right? Because if you don't have that drive, which you flutter with that drive. When there's something you want to get it done, you get it done because you have that in you, right? But we need to grow that. You can't just let it stagnate or it'll never get better, right? I wasted a lot of time in my life where I didn't have that drive. My 20s, my 30s. I'm serious. A lot of my 20s and 30s are just wasted. Just going to work and... and like trying to maintain a family and and mom was always pushing me to be better but i never i never really started to understand it until a couple of years ago you know and then i really started getting a drive right about the time i got really serious about getting this house there's a time when i was like oh shit i better get my shit together dude i'm like almost 40 and i have no idea what i'm doing in my life right and it's very easy to get into that holding pattern and i'm way behind in life right i don't want you to be there i want you to be way ahead in life all right are you just drawing out the podcast now no, I'm not. This is um, important stuff. I'm not trying to draw out the podcast at all, even though you look like you're going to cry. Don't cry. It's okay. Like, I'm not saying you're bad. I'm just trying to teach you. I'm, if anything, you're really, really good, right? And I want to develop that so you can excel in life because you are such a good person, man. You're going to do so good in life, right? The only way that's going to get messed up is if I mess it up or mom messes it up, right? And... To be honest with you, I haven't been that great of a dad. You know, I've missed out on a lot of stuff. I haven't been doing these talks with you. Um, I do better with people that are really rational and function well. And that's you now, right? And I'm, that's been you since you were been like seven or eight, really, honestly. Probably been more mature than me since nine or ten. And um, you're mature, but we need to develop you into being uh, learning to be a good person, right? Develop that wisdom that you say that I have. That's just crazy talk because I'm not very wise. The only thing is I made millions and millions of mistakes, right? And uh, you're going to make millions and millions of mistakes. You're going to make a mistake tomorrow probably, right? But you know what's going to happen? I'm going to be like, all right, this is wrong. I'm going to give you a big hug, give you a big kiss on the head, and say, let's do it again tomorrow and figure it out, right? But in the real world, when you mess up, they're going to be like, <laughs> right? And they're going to knock you back down to the bottom of the pile, right? If you have your failures here where it's a little bit safer, hopefully you learn lessons from that. They got to be impactful enough, like right now, that you're crying and you remember it, though, right? Hopefully you remember what I'm saying. I don't even know why you're crying. I think you're just way overtired, right? But nothing but good to you. So uh, while you're all upset, I'm going to end the podcast right now because I don't want to make it any worse. All right? But I love you, man. 
I love you more than anything on this planet, all right? And I want you to be way more successful than me, right? I don't want you to be sitting here doing a podcast with your son in the house when you're a kid. I want you to be doing a podcast in a studio you had built from scratch just so you could sit with your son and have a podcast with him to make sure he does good in life. And that's the only reason you don't even really do podcasts because you're too busy with all your successful doctor crap that you do. And you're like saving lives and making stuff and playing with Legos and... But you have a podcast studio just to sit down and talk with your kids, you know? All right? Mm -hmm. All right, dude. I love you, man. Love you, too. Have a good one. Peace out! I just messed up who's ever listening. Ha <laughs> ha!